morning guys welcome back to a wednesday vlog being yesterday so this feels so weird to be doing this two days in a row usually i always do my sunday i mean my monday motivation videos on sunday but yesterday i did it on monday and they go up on monday so i filmed the video and then had to edit it and put it up yesterday so it was a lot of work i usually vlog on mondays for wednesdays so i'm a little behind this week finishing last minute wedding stuff thing like that a lot happening and changing about to take brantley for a walk because he is very uh antsy and just you know whiny and nothing's occupying him so i think a nice walk and to get some fresh air will do him good so we're gonna go for a walk um, I'm going to paint his dresser for his nursery today. I'm going to show y'all all about that today. I'm just going to take y'all along on my day today. Mm. He's going to play with his toys while we're going on a walk. And then I'm going to listen to a podcast or something. We both need the fresh air and to get out of the house a little bit. And to clear our heads. Brantley is really working my patience this morning. 9.51 and he woke up at 6.40. So he's been whining since then. So I think this walk will both do us good. And I brought him some toys to occupy him because he gets a little antsy sometimes in the stroller. <laughs> you ready to go? from a walk and I let Brentley play outside for a little bit. Now I'm about to run to Publix and Mom. get some Mom. yes baby that doesn't work and I'm gonna get some produce and then we need milk and bread and tacos and some zucchini noodles with pesto sauce it's super good Stuff to make probably enchiladas tonight or I might make a burrito bowl but I'm definitely craving one or the other and did I already say tacos because I'm getting stuff for tacos on Friday and just whatever else hey. we, because i'm gonna get me and brantley both a side of macaroni because all of our chick-fil-a's have macaroni <laughs> seriously though like i'm so happy because our truett has macaroni but not the one closest to our so i'm gonna go experience that for the first time today and then we made chicken salad for dinner last night because we usually have that like once a week in our house so i'm gonna eat a leftover chicken salad sandwich with mac and cheese and boy i'm so excited that's what's up so we're about to hurry go get these errands done it is probably almost 11 o'clock and then we're gonna come home and eat and then brantley's gonna go down for a nap and then i'm gonna try to paint his dresser so i can get that put back in his room and yeah busy 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 all right so we just got to publix and y'all pray for me that brantley's gonna be good in here because he's a little brantley hold on he's a little busybody. So I just got to Chick-fil-A. All I got was a mac and cheese, two mac and cheeses, and a tea, so shouldn't take too long. He was not that bad in the store. He was honestly pretty decent for a toddler, so no complaints but there. Some, two things awkward happened in the store. I'm such an awkward person, and we were in there, and I was looking at the produce, my mom business, and this dude, I thought he said, I like his shirt. But he told me he liked my shirt because my shirt has like the free fall and lyrics on the back or whatever. What, baby? But I wasn't even paying attention to what shirt I had on. So I wasn't even paying attention. I was like, tell him thank you, Brantley. I just said, tell him thank you. And I don't know if he heard that part. But when somebody gives Brantley a compliment, I always tell him to say thank you instead of me saying thank you. And he was really complimenting my shirt and he was like, yeah, that's a good song. And so then I just laughed and was like, Haha, awkwardly, cause I didn't know what he was talking about. And then I was like, oh, my shirt has lyrics on the back. So I was like, whole time in Publix, cause this was the beginning of me going in there. The whole time I was just like thinking about that, like, why are you like this? And then I was picking out some ground beef and this lady next to me like dropped a ton of packets of ground beef when she was trying to get one. And I was like, um, I don't know what I said. I was like, uh oh, or something. I don't know, but I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it was so awkward. So that's my two awkward stories for the day. I'm gonna sit here and scroll Facebook and wait for my food. I'm so hungry, they need to have 
So I'm now gonna put our groceries out. I got three of the zucchini, pasta spinach, because I eat it with smoothies, and I saute it, and I put it in a lot of our dish. Okay, red onion, cheese. Three bags of cheese for our dishes. And then I got some pico de gallo salsa for the tacos and enchiladas. Got some milk, got some queso. They didn't have the cold kind I wanted without jalapeno. Two pounds of ground beef. Strawberries, watermelon, blueberries, bananas, tortilla chips, and bread. These are the canned goods for the enchilada. But I'm hungry, so I'm trying to hurry. I'm now about to eat some chicken salad sandwich one and a half sandwiches and mac and cheese but i didn't want to waste this other sandwich i'm gonna see if brantley will eat some but i highly doubt it because i didn't want to waste it so i look like a fatty but i'm starving this is my first meal of the day and it's 12 o'clock i literally am so full but it was everything i dreamed of it was so good brantley's still eating some watermelon mac and cheese i'm about to go lay him down for a nap though because i think he's playing in it I need to let my food digest. I'm so full. All right, so I'm about to start painting the dresser. So I am, I'm gonna cut the fan on so it will help dry this and so it will not be so hot in the garage. So I've already painted, I've already started painting um, the other week and I just have to now finish. And I'm gonna have to buy some new knobs to make it complete. chocolate chip cookies. I like made these last night. They're so good. So moist. So chewy. I'm also gonna eat some pineapple and some watermelon for a snack because that painting is making me hungry. I painted Brantley's whole entire nap time so I worked up and I'm taking a break from painting and I'm taking a break from painting and I'm um, gonna clean up the house a little bit, play with Brantley for a little bit, do some laundry, and then I'm gonna go back outside and continue to paint. I'm almost done. Also, my camera died while I was outside. Um, so I didn't get too much footage of me painting, but I will show y'all the finished product. Put the last load of laundry in. I'm about to finish painting. I'm about to finish painting. I may, come on, cut on. I may, um, I may bring the, come on baby, out. I may bring the dresser in here, part of it, and paint it in the dining area. Really just fell. If I go in the garage, he's just gonna cry because he can't see me. And I really need to get this done and get it put in his room. I was just painting and realized that we leave next Thursday for the beach. And then we get married on Friday. We're only 10 days away from our wedding. And the thing is, I thought that we left, not this Thursday, not next Thursday, but the next Thursday. I'm pretty sure that's what I said in my um, vlog on yesterday, on Monday. So I am just totally thrown off right now. And I'm kind of just feeling really overwhelmed and stressed. But I like am pretty prepared to leave. I... I'm halfway done packing and like I don't know why I'm exactly stressed but I guess just knowing that we leave next week kind of freaks me out um, I am of course nervous for our wedding um, and everything like that so you know I don't know Brantley get out of that so I'm just trying to get as much done as possible um, I need to get supper started soon and everything like that. So I'm gonna try to get this painted. Hopefully Brantley lets me. I just feel like there's not enough hours in the day to get everything done with him. Sometimes I feel like I need more hands. So good news guys, 
my mother-in-law just texted me and asked if Brantley could come over, which makes me super happy because I can get stuff done and not feel guilty about Brantley not getting attention. And he loves to go to his Gigi's house. It's one of his favorite things because he gets to go over there and do whatever he wants. And he loves her. And, um, anyway, so I am going to get twice as much done with him gone. In a minute, I am about to drive over there and drop him off. She luckily just lives one neighborhood over from me, so it is very convenient. You want to go to Gigi's house? Gigi? What? You want to go to Gigi's? You want to go to Gigi's? Gigi? 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 Mama. Gigi? Mama. Hi, Mama. That doesn't work. You want to go to Gigi's and play? Happy dance. This mama gets a break. So that means I can cook my burritos in peace, finish painting, not feel guilty that I'm not giving Brantley all my attention. And I get to hustle and get it all done. To-do list of stuff I wanna get done before we leave for vacation. I wanna come back stress-free and not have a to-do list. Good. So this is good, folks. Sorry, I just love a break. Just love a break. Mom in full time is not easy sometimes. You just need time for yourself. Time to get stuff done. All right, so it is 5.29 and gelatis tonight. Like we'll be home soon. Cook it up. So I'm now getting dinner ready. I am cooking enchiladas tonight. I was in the garage um, painting the hutch that goes on the dresser and then the drawers and now they just need a second coat and a clear coat and they'll be finished. And so now I am just preparing dinner. Gonna go ahead and get it ready. I'm sure I'll have to go pick Brantley up later. All right, so I, pour, I put some taco seasoning in the beef while it was cooking and then I put some salsa verde inside of the meat and then I just put some black beans. I'm gonna add a little corn and some green chilies and some cheese and then I'm gonna stuff the tortilla. On Amazon Music. So it is 7.13 and Alec just went to go to his mom's to get Brantley and um, dinner is done. I just sent some food over there to, um, to his mom's because we're going to eat these leftovers tomorrow, but we're still going to have leftovers if I didn't send food. So I just sent some food over there and um, when Alec gets back, we're going to eat. I'm about to hop in the shower. I got my painting done, everything but a clear coat. So I'm super excited about that. I really have been wanting to get that done for days now. So it really worked out great when she texted me and asked to get Brantley because, you know, I'm so busy. The help is awesome. Um, it helped me get a lot done. To clean up the dishes real fast and wait on Brantley to get here so I can get him put in bed. Here is my dinner. I also got Brantley back. I like finally got my picture hung for Brantley's room. I'm so obsessed with this picture 
And then this dresser, I'm still working on the hutch that goes on the top um, of it and the rest of the drawers. But I went in ahead and bought, I went ahead and brought this in and I have to get a knob for the drawers. So making progress. I will show y'all the finished project. Brantley's going night night. Say night night. Say night night. Say night night. Say night night. Bye, Dada. We're just about to read our Count Your Blessing books. Ain't we? Book. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm fresh out of the shower and about to finish my nighttime routine. It is like 9:10. And I am about to finish my nighttime routine and go snuggle with Alec and go to sleep. I am so tired. See these bags under my eyes? I'm exhausted. So I'm calling it a night. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. I've gotten so many new subscribers lately and I'm so excited. So hit the subscribe button so you don't miss an upcoming video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye -bye.